Taurus rising. Welcome here to Soul Passages Astrology. My name is Georgia Dempsey and I'm your astrologer and I'm back. I made the cross country move and I'm in Utah and I'm so sorry I missed the May videos. We were so buried. There was no way. Anyhow, I'm unpacked. I'm all set up. I have my angel room. I'm very excited about that. And I'm ready to get back on board providing uh, great astrological advice for you. And for you, Taurus Rising, June is really all about breaking the cycle of insanity. And I say that because there is a grand cross that is going to be stretching everyone really thin as early June hits. And that includes you, Taurus Rising. By June 2nd, you should begin to feel the push-pull of this planetary alignment. Saturn, that taskmaster planet who is now touring Sagittarius in your 8th house of intimate affairs, will be opposing a Sun-Venus connection located in your 2nd house, laying crosswise to this axis, thus forming the cross. You also have Jupiter and the north node of the moon in Virgo, opposing Neptune, Chiron, and the South Node, all swimming through the Piscean waters of your 11th house. So what does all this mean in your life? Your 5th house, Jupiter, wants to confer blessings on you by having some good, mindful fun. Spend quality time with your kids and loved ones and do the things you love to do. Some of you may be actively searching out Mr. or Mrs. Wright at this time. And Jupiter is there for you to broaden that search while the Virgo energy adds in some protection by asking you to be discerning regarding that perfect someone. Therein, however, lies some of the problems of the cross with Neptune, Chiron, the wounded healer, and the south node of the moon opposing Jupiter you do need to be careful of the company you keep. Are friends dragging you into trouble? Is the flock that you're flying with prone to using substances? Are you truly being mindful of the fun you're having? Are you being clear-headed about who you're hanging out with? Are they upfront and honest with you? Are your fun activities interfering with what you are trying to achieve in the world? Maybe you have your eyes set on a perfect partner, but you have to realize that all partnerships take work and nobody is truly perfect. Are you giving more than you're receiving when it comes to those closest to you? Neptune can have that, you know, overgiving sort of feeling. Have you maybe set your children onto a pedestal from which they're afraid to fall? Are you trying through your work or business to become something larger than yourself. This could be through artwork, speech, or even written products that you are sharing on the world stage, and yet you feel somehow as if you are not hitting the mark. And if not, how can you change the tenor of that creative voice so that it has more mass appeal? Lately, you have felt confused or possibly left in the dark by some friends group affiliations, ideology, or vision you've had for yourself or society. However this cross is racking you, just remember it is trying everybody. You may feel unclear about long-term goals and plans or even what clubs you should join to get ahead. With Saturn firmly throned in your 8th house, you have probably been learning a lot about what it means to share finances and deep intimacies with another person. At times, you may question how much you're sharing, either literally, psychologically, or possibly by giving up on some of your very own dreams in order to make things work between the two of you. 
Now with your eighth house Saturn squaring up to Jupiter in the fifth, you could feel as if you've kind of gone on a fun vacation in a camper, but accidentally left the van brakes on. You want to have fun to do the things you desire, and yet maybe the finances aren't there. Or maybe you feel restricted in sharing as deeply as you would like with another person. Adding to this complexity is the fact that Jupiter is squaring up to the Sun-Venus combination that is occupying your second house as of June 2nd. Are you drawing in that which you truly desire? Are you spending so much time that your pocketbook is squealing? Maybe too many fun nights out are running up a tab, leaving you less money for some of your long-term dreams. One way or the other, you need to get serious about what's important to you, Taurus Rising, so you can break free from this cross which is binding you. For many of you, a more realistic approach to your dreams may be in order. We can be so driven in this society to have more and more. You know, the bigger house, the sleeker car, classy suits, fine wine, dinner out, you name it. I mean, I've recently just downsized uh, because I've recognized that the American dream can sometimes actually kill you. You know, um, so this might be a time for you to think about that. What does abundance in your life really mean? You know, that's a really good question right now. So write a hardball sticky to yourself. Get real about what really matters. Sometimes the American dream is not all it's cracked up to be. On June 4th, um, that seems like a pretty perfect day to me to search for the truth. For there will be a new moon in Gemini on that day, leaving a wide open space for you to plant the seeds for your future. To get the results you want, you need to focus in on that which is most important. Now, naturally, in Gemini, there's always two sides to every story, but I see the need for you to clarify your goals. Look solidly at the light and dark of the situation you find yourself in and delve into the truth of where you stand. Neptune has lately been mudding the waters regarding your hopes, dreams, wishes, and friends. Get real about what's important and choose your friends wisely. If you've been hurt in the past, Revisit what went wrong so you can unravel the puzzle and make better life choices for yourself in the future. Be realistic in what you're trying to achieve. This is important because on the 27th, Chiron will be moving retrograde through your 11th house, and that is likely to turn up old issues of woundedness regarding these matters. Insanity has been described as doing the same things over and over again, but hoping for a different outcome. Different outcomes happen by making better choices and putting reasonable plans into action for achieving your long-range goals. For you, Taurus Rising, I see this as the Holy Grail for solving the riddle of your cross. You are being pulled to the four ends of the earth, and much of it has to do with your finances and possibly some unrealistic goals or maybe harmful friendships. Figure out what is truly important and try a different tack for getting the job done. Neptune will go retrograde on the 13th and that can foster fears, paranoia, and uncertainty regarding your dreams and friendships. Don't buy into the fear or try to numb it out. That, that just isn't going to work. Sit down, my best advice is with a well-grounded Capricorn, and devise an achievable savings plan, portfolio, or debt payoff program so that you can get real about your future and what you actually wish slash need to achieve. Think solidly on what abundance really means in your life. Is it really a McMansion or would more time with your kids be more fulfilling? With this configuration, a few of you may be putting so much pressure onto your kids to overachieve and be perfect that they feel they can never reach your Virgoan standards. Let off a bit on the pressure and simply have more fun with your children instead and see if that doesn't improve their attitude. If you've been concerned about sharing too much information with a friend, listen to your inner guidance system and develop stronger boundaries around your relationships 
until you feel certain at a gut level that you can trust the person you're spending time with. With Saturn touring your eighth house, there are some tough lessons in love and in intimacy to be learned in the next few years. You know, but knowing this ahead can help you to be a bit more cautious. Saturn will be squaring up to Neptune on the 17th, so you could be feeling the pinch, either financially or from overly opening yourself up to friends that maybe you should or shouldn't trust. If you've been burned in the past, and with Chiron there, you very well may have been, use caution. This is a, not a time to wear rose-colored glasses when it comes to friends or group affiliations. If you're getting pulled down a costly rabbit hole by substance-abusing friends, this should be your wake-up call. It's time for a new path, unless, of course, you like having your life hung upon a cross that is stretching you to the financial max not to mention what it could do to your health. By mid-month, the 17th to the 20th, the Sun and Venus will enter Cancer, which falls into the third house for many of you. This is the perfect time to talk to family members, members to spend time at home, and to share how you are feeling with those within your inner circle. Maybe as a family, you need to work out what is important or set up a workable financial plan. If you are having an addiction friendship problem that's dragging you down, reach out to family for help. That's why they're there. Talk with someone you trust regarding setting realistic goals for you and your children. Mercury, that planet of communications, will amp up this energy even more by the 29th. So it is the perfect time to create a plan for your whole family that will work. Now on the 20th of the month, there will be a full moon in Sagittarius. This will further shed a light onto your financial situation. Since this full moon is sitting right next to Saturn, you may feel burdened by that which is revealed. But it's also going to shine a bright light onto what you need to do in order to transform your life. Maybe you're in the wrong relationship because it isn't growing on a deeper, more meaningful level. Perhaps all of the fun nights out are starting to truly cost you. Whatever's happening, you should get a clear picture of where you stand on the 20th. To turn things around, pay attention to the messages you receive on this day. People close to you are likely trying to whisper in your ear the very things you need to hear. Know that they are meant to be there, sharing their thoughts with you on this day. Mars has been moving retrograde for that last little while, but will be moving forward in the sign of Scorpio by the 29th of June. This will impact your seventh house of long-term partnerships considerably. It's time to take action and transform your relationship with the significant others in your life. Maybe you need to change who you're hanging out with. What criteria have you been using for selecting friends? Are your friends enhancing your life or dragging you down? If you don't like where you're headed with your current circle, it might be time to revise your idea of what it means to be a true friend. Since money seems to be tight for many of you, do not try to borrow or become overly indebted to friends, business partners, or lovers. You can overcome what is happening and transform your partnerships in the process. And to do so, you're going to need a little more self-reliance. For you, Taurus Rising, June is all about figuring out what really matters to you so you can set your world onto the right footing. Choose your friends and your goals wisely. Breaking your fun meter can also wreak havoc on your pocket and make achieving long-term goals seem impossible. Clearly, this is not the case for all of you, but for some of you, you do need to make some wise choices this month in order to turn things around. If things get tough along the way, pay attention to the messages you receive from loved ones on the 20th. Doing things differently can help you to break the cycle of insanity you currently find yourself steeped in, but you need to change how you are going about things to arrive at a better outcome. With your bull-like persistence, Taurus Rising, you can do anything you set your mind to. 
All right, I just want to say thank you, world, for your support, for calling in, for readings. I'm going to continue my special till June 1. I feel blessed by all of your likes, shares, Google Pluses. Um, thank you ever so much, and I wish you a very positive and happy June.